This is lesson 14. In this video, I'm going to solve some exercises about trigonometric functions, logarithmic functions, and uh, to use the logarithmic functions uh, in uh, complex multiplication. Okay, here the first one is these are from your uh, homework part and uh, cosine squared 2x cubed minus 3x we have here. Firstly, uh, I need to remind you about this expression. Normally, it's equal to cosine uh, 2x cubed minus 3x to the power of to the power of 2. It must be. And by using the chain rule or general power rule, f to the power of n x derivative. If you remember, it's going to be equal to n times f to the power of n minus 1 x times fx it must f derivative x it must be so if you get the derivative of this expression the derivative of this expression is equal to because it says find the derivative of the in the exercise find the derivative of these expressions it's going to be equal to uh, 2 times cosine 2 x cube minus 3 x times cosine 2 x cube minus 3x derivative it's going to be and the power here 2 minus 1 which is equal to 1 that's why it's going to be equal to 1 and it is not written there now this part it's going to be same 2 cosine 2x cube minus 3x and here we are going to get the derivative of this expression which is equal to minus sine 2x cube times pardon minus 3x times uh, here we have minus sign that's why I'm going to put in parentheses times 2x cube minus 3x derivative if you remember the cosine fx derivative it was equal to minus sine fx times f derivative x it was that's why we are going to solve like this then this is going to be equal to 2 cosine 2x cubed minus uh, 2x cube 2x cubed minus 3x times sine 2x cube minus 3x times derivative of 2x cube is equal to 4, uh, 6x square 6x square it's going to be and derivative of minus 3x it's going to be equal to minus 3 so only uh, this is the answer of the question but uh, we can use uh, one formula here the if you remember 2 sine x times cosine x it was equal to sine 2x that's why this expression can be written like 2 sine alpha times cosine cosine alpha times sine alpha this is 2 minus we have here but sine 2 times 2x cube minus 3x times uh, 6x square minus 3 that's equal to minus sine 4x cube minus 6x times 6x squared minus 3 also can be let's continue with the second one sine cube ln cosine 2x inside the inside the function we have another function and I'm going to continue with the second one to downside and as I explained this is going to be sine uh, ln x ln cosine 2x to the power of 3 so it's going to be equal to 3 uh, sine ln 2 uh, ln cosine 2x square times sine ln uh, cosine 2x derivative it's going to be uh, at the beginning I forget here to write this one the, uh, the derivative of this expression is equal to down part Okay, then it's going to be equal to 3 times sine. Here uh, I explained the power rule before, that's why I didn't mention again. And uh, 
I explained the cosine is equal to minus sine fx. Uh, so uh, sine fx it's going to be cosine fx times f derivative x. So this is going to be two, 3 sine squared ln cosine uh, 2x. The sine ln x derivative is equal to cosine ln x ln cosine 2x times ln cosine 2x derivative is going to be the derivative of this expression ln sine fx derivative here sine fx is equal to cosine fx times f derivative x it's going to be and this is equal to here <coughs> here Three sine square ln cosine two x ln cosine two x it should be written in parentheses normally ln cosine two x I didn't write in parentheses but it should be written into parentheses here then uh, cosine ln cosine two x here in parentheses times ln cosine two x derivative and you remember ln x derivative is equal to ln x derivative ln fx derivative sorry ln fx derivative is going to be equal to f derivative of x over fx uh, here there is notation problem in here cosine fx derivative it should mean I didn't write before okay um, here it's going to be equal to cosine 2x derivative over cosine 2x that's equal to uh, here I'm going to write uh, I'm going to separate this one uh, 3 sine <coughs> square ln cosine 2x times cosine ln x cosine ln cosine x cosine 2x and uh, cosine 2x derivative is equal to uh, cosine minus sine minus sine 2x times 2x derivative over cosine 2x is going to be then this expression it's going to be equal to here <coughs> We have uh, the derivative of 3 uh, sine square ln cosine 2x times cosine uh, ln cosine 2x times uh, minus sine 2x over minus sine 2x times 2 over cosine 2x. Uh, the normally derivative operation finished. Here we can apply some formulas from trigonometry. The first formula that I'm going to apply, I wrote at the uh, top of the uh, page. Here it is. 2 times sine x times cosine x is equal to sine 2x. So what is written here? Sine square. And here we have also 2. This is going to be like this. It's equal to. It's equal to. 3 times 2, this 2 I wrote here, sine squared I'm going to write like sine uh, ln cosine 2x, one of them here, then cosine ln cosine 2x, normally there should be 2 times uh, from that one, and times uh, sine ln cosine 2x. This is the second one. In square we have as a product 2 sine ln cosine 2x. This is the second sine ln cosine 2x. So when you multiply them, sine squared it's going to be. Okay, then sine x over cosine x here, if we put the minus sign, sine 2x over cosine 2x, that's going to be equal to tangent 2x. Okay, now this expression, what is here? It's going to be equal to uh, 2 sine 2x so minus 3 times sine 2 ln cosine 2x uh, times 
sin ln cosine 2x times tangent 2x it's going to be and the last one is here this power can be written here and it will be cosine 2x square which is equal to minus 3 sine uh, ln cosine 2x square times sine ln cosine 2x times tangent tangent 2x is going to be okay as I explained before till this part uh, we are finding the derivative till this part we are finding the derivative after the derivative part I applied some trigonometric rules here if you solve like this the answer is going to be true for us okay let's continue with the uh, logarithmic function derivative of exponential and logarithmic function here it is written uh, but we have multiplication here between the terms so if we have multiplication we should remember the derivative of the multiplication f times g derivative is equal to f derivative times g uh, g plus f times g derivative it's going to be derivative of first one times second one plus derivative of first one times second one's derivative then e to the power of x um, x times 3x derivative is going to be equal to e to the power of x times derivative sorry times uh, 3x plus e to the power of x times 3x derivative is going to be then this is equal to e to the power of x derivative if you remember I said like this e to the power of x is the only the derivative it's equal to itself only the function so times 3x it's going to be plus e to the power of x times 3x derivative you know e to the power of x derivative is equal to e to the power of x times ln a it was times if it is different than x if it is fx times f derivative x it should be here and as you see here we have two terms e to the power of x 3 to the power of x as you see here also the same so these two terms they are same then it's going to be equal to e to the power of x times 3 to the power of x parenthesis in parenthesis I'm going to write when I collect them in one parenthesis this is going to be equal to 1 because you have taken everything plus when you take this 2 you have left ln a and that's going to be equal to 1 plus ln a uh, with the same way you can solve the second one uh, I'm not going to solve the second one here uh, here we have uh, from the second question I'm going to solve x logarithm x and here this is going to be again multiplications derivative x derivative times derivative of this expression is equal to uh, f derivative x is equal to uh, derivative of first one times second one plus uh, first one times second one's derivative logarithm x derivative then it's going to be equal to x times x derivative is equal to 1 times logarithm x it's going to be plus x times uh, derivative of logarithm it's if you remember uh, logarithm base a fx derivative is equal to f derivative x over fx times ln a is going to be and the base here it's equal to 10 that's why it's going to be equal to the derivative of 1 over x derivative over x times ln 10 is going to be which is equal to logarithm x here it is and which is equal to 1 times logarithm x it's going to be logarithm x plus x times uh, 1 over x times ln 10 this x and this x if you simplify the answer is going to be equal to logarithm x plus 1 over logarithm ln 10 ln 10 and here uh, this is going to be this is going to be if you want we can continue here 
because this is and then e it's going to be and then e over and then 10 it's equal to logarithm base 10 e which is uh, e times x it's going to be at the end okay this is the last one here uh, there is a modification between the terms and if you try to apply the normal uh, multiplication then uh, try to get the derivative it will be too long but if you try to apply the ln method like if i'm going to solve the c1 ln fx is equal to ln ln cube root of x squared times e to the power of x squared minus 1 times x cube minus x to the power of minus 2. If it is in that form, uh, the multiplication inside it's going to be uh, outside it's going to be addition. So ln fx derivative, pardon, ln fx first it's equal to ln cube root of x squared uh, plus uh, ln e to the power of x squared minus 1 uh, plus ln x cube minus x to the power of minus 2 it must be okay this uh, powers x squared minus 1 it can be written in front of the ln so it's going to be like this ln fx one more time I'm writing ln fx ln x to the power of 2 over 3 plus uh, x squared minus 1 times in parentheses I'm going to write this is the power of e because ln e plus uh, minus 2 times ln uh, x cube minus x is going to be here uh, ln e is equal to 1 that's why I'm going to leave only x squared minus 1 the other part is uh, 2 over 3 ln x the power can be written in front of the logarithm then this is plus x squared minus 1 then plus uh, actually it is minus because minus 2 we have here minus 2 times ln x cubed minus x is going to be now this is ln fx and if you get the derivative of both sides we are going to this is the method for the uh, logarithmic derivative method and if you get the derivative on this side we have f derivative x over fx it must be on the other side we have derivative of 2 over 3 here uh, 2 over 3 is constant term uh, or coefficient that's why we are not going to get the derivative of it x over x it must be plus x squared derivative is equal to 2x minus 1 derivative is equal to 0 that's why it's not written and minus 2 times ln uh, the derivative of ln x cube minus x is going to be equal to x cube minus x derivative over x cube minus x if you remember uh, ln fx derivative is equal to f derivative x over fx it should be so f derivative x over fx so here it's going to be equal to let's find the derivative of this expression this two expression it's going to be equal to f derivative x over is equal to uh, fx times times i send the term fx to the other side 2 over 3 1 over x plus 2x minus 2 times x cubed derivative is equal to 3x squared minus 1 over x cube minus x it must be here uh, we got the derivatives only we are going to write instead of fx what is the given term and uh, this is the last part now here instead of fx what is given i'm going to write that one f derivative x is equal to fx times which is equal to cube root of x squared times e to the power of x squared minus 1 times x cube minus x to the power of minus 2 times the 2 over 3 x is equal to here it's going to be equal to uh, 2 over 3 x plus 
2x minus 2 times 3x squared is equal to 6x squared. 2 times minus 3 it's going to be equal to minus 1 is equal to minus 2. But I didn't multiply by minus 2. I left the minus sign in front. Here it's going to be equal to x cubed minus x. We are going to multiply only by the numerator. Here 2 multiplied by only numerator. And this is the answer of the question.